star. Meghan Markle has allegedly banned her husband Prince Harry to appear in her interviews as of now. The decision has been taken to keep the focus on her and the work she's involved in. It's said that she wants to change her public image and stay away from controversies. The claim was made by a royal expert, Neil Sean, while he discussed Markle's latest tell-all interview with Variety magazine. According to a very good source, and as ever we have to say it allegedly, there was one person that couldn't be featured. That was, of course, the former royal, known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. According to that good source, it was all down to the fact that they were realigning Miss Markle's PR. You know, her personal look and how people see her. The reason why Harry apparently was banned is because the new PR team, and we have to say allegedly, feel that Harry could be too much of a distraction, he continued. Spilling more on the latest development, the royal expert said, particularly also given the fact that when you think about it, he has a bombshell book, we believe looming at some point before the end of the year. Sean also reflected on the Suits star's interview with Variety, claiming Markle is making an attempt to reaffirm herself as a fun, giggly, and more importantly, friendly and down-to-earth kind of person. He reflected by further saying on his channel that, only time will tell if Markle succeeds in selling her new remixed, revitalised, rejuvenated Miss Meghan Markle public image, especially to people back in Britain. Meghan's Variety interview raised eyebrows with royal expert Daniela Elsa seemingly mocking her for the way she refused to call Harry by his name. The expert said, In the Variety story, appearing on the magazine's cover as some beatific second coming, Meghan manages to use the word husband eight times energetically and repeatedly seeming intent on reminding readers that she is in fact married. If a person didn't know any better and didn't have those thumbs or that Wi-Fi, they might be forgiven for thinking this husband was some intensely private individual who didn't want to be sucked into his wife's PR vortex and remain out of sight. Not that is, the fifth in line to the throne, son of King Charles, and a man whose birth was celebrated with a 41-gun salute, aka Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Read the variety piece and something fascinating comes into view. Harry looks increasingly like an adjunct in his own story. In less than two months, we've had two biggie interviews with Meghan, both with attendant glam photo shoots, both putting her in designer dresses and photographing her twirling about Gwyneth Paltrow worthy designer gardens, and yet neither does he figure much beyond an occasional guest star at most. Miss Elsa wonders, where has Prince Harry gone? She continued, So too, while they both as a couple inked those whopping deals with Netflix and Spotify, deals that a one-time cable actress and unemployed former army officer would definitely cough have gotten if they didn't also happen to have royal titles. It is the Duchess who's been first out of the blocks with her Spotify series archetypes. It's Megan who's charging forth, even if her podcast manages to be both boring and deeply self-involved and is currently floundering in the rankings. Only two of the six episodes are in the top 100 episodes in the US, coming in the 26th and 90th spots. And it's Megan who we've witnessed coming to the media for, including even when the duo poses together. In early October, they released official images taken during the One Young World Summit, in which Harry, in what has become their go-to pose, peers over his wife's shoulder, unintentionally recreating their hilariously photoshopped time cover. Elsa concluded, what the variety in the cut stories prove is that the Duchess of Sussex might be one of the most famous women in the world, but she's also quite boring. He is hoping that her husband, whatever his name is, doesn't think so.